Hi, everybody. This is Joel Simmons for yet another Two Minute Turf Talk. I don't typically like to do this, but I'm going to pull a clip from a conversation that I had with Lawrence Mayhew and Jack Higgins on a podcast called The Carbon Connection, which I encourage you to listen to because there's an awful lot of material in there. But recently I heard a podcast talking about uh, carbon and and somebody had mentioned that uh, they had tested carbon in the plant and adding carbon-based fertility didn't, didn't change it at all. And, and it just... Um, it just kind of blew my my mind and uh, most of us here at Earthworks. I wanted to uh, share this little piece of clip of me talking on this podcast and explaining what carbon is really all about when we're adding carbon to a soil program. Sorry for the Joel Simmons show, but here we go. Yeah, because let, let's just qualify, first of all, the reason why we're talking about carbon is not necessarily to feed the plant. It's almost exclusively about making sure microbial populations are fed and are active. And because right. of that, because we're dealing in a very huge spectrum, and, 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 and correct me if I'm wrong, Lawrence, I think we've cataloged, what, 15% of the microbiome in the soil uh, in this world. Uh, I mean, we hardly know anything about how many there are and how diverse they are, but we know they're extremely diverse. And so no, what it's, we're trying to, it's, it's probably less than 1%. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm not even close. I, <laughs> no. There I go lying again, you know, you're being very generous. <laughs> very right, generous. Exactly. I'm trying to be generous, but you know, the point being is that this is about microbes and, you know, and, and, and this goes go back to the conversation I started with is that you're seeing folks talking about carbon, um, but they're really using such a, a narrow limited uh, scope of carbon in their products that they're not really feeding microbial, a very wide spectrum of microbial population. The word that Jerry Brunetti drove into my head when we started this project in the late eighties was that word diversity. And, you know, I remember vividly having conversations and even arguments with Jerry about, you know, we don't deal with linear formulations. We deal with very di diverse and complex formulations, which has made my life miserable as a manufacturer because we're trying to get 30 raw materials into a jug versus two. And, and, and Lawrence, thank goodness you're on board with us because keeping that in a jug is, is all but impossible. I was at a, a superintendent's office the other day and they were all excited because they have, you know, they were using, you know, carbon products. And I said, well, can I, do you mind if I, uh, I see what you're looking at? And they, they shared with me a product and it was literally 30 some percent molasses. And that was really about all what that was. And urea, of course, and, and iron. And that's my fear of what's going on in the industry is that, you know, we're throwing this word carbon out there and then we're, and, and you're seeing formulations with, with such linear, such limited carbon material, and then still dosing it with, the salt fertilizers that give the color. Whereas if we can get microbiology really exploding, um, I mean, everybody, a superintendents and grass growers, life is just gonna be so much easier. And, and we have all those stories and, and many of them have been here on the podcast telling their stories of how their life is easier because biological soil management has, has really uh, you know created this.